Hello everyone, we're here at E14 Lanes and Games in Johnstown doing our weekly high scores for the week of January 22nd through January 28th. Joined by me is Armand, my name is Chris. We're going to dive into this week's high scores. On the Sunday Night Mutts League, we had James Blair with the Scratch 221 bowling game. And on the women's side, Marina Taylor led everyone with a 173 scratch game on her way to a 446 series. Nice bowling. And the Monday morning, Allie Catley, Debbie Highlands had a 189 game with a 459 series. And Vanessa R had a 181 game with a 466 series. Monday night in the Penelec game, Scott Stretsky with the 217 game. And on the handicap side of the bracket, Devin Pecora with a handicap 278 game. And then Terry Rader with a handicap 727. And then Monday night for the Dairy 10 Pin League, Andy Andreo Jr. had a two. 25 game with a 632 series. In the last Monday night league, the businessman league, some nice bowling by Bob Brown and Sean Wonderly. Bob had the high game, 245 on his way to a 638 series. Sean had a 233 game as part of his 655 scratch series. In the Tuesday morning Dogwood Hits League, Sharon Bergabile had a 167 game for the 443 series and Jane Charlie had a 155 game for the 442 series. In the uh, Tuesday morning Toppers League, Pam McBrendel with the 178 game, Bonnie Turner with the 180 game, 510 series, and uh, Kim Najar with a 191 game and a 552 series. In the Tuesday night 10 pins league on the men's side, Jared M had a 256 game with a 629 series, Courtney Marley had a 246 game. Keegan V had a 614 series. Michael Hammers had a 244 game with a 614 series. And for the women's side, Sue P had a 192 game and Linda S had a 187 game. In the other Tuesday night league, Thursday night mixed bowlers, Bruce Thomas with a 197 game, 586 series. And Brandy Getty with a 184 game. And Tammy Honkus had the high women's scratch series with a 405. In the Wednesday night Shamrocks League on the men's side, Ron Kramer bowled a 203 game for the 497 series. And on the women's side, Karen Fuzzard had a 160 game for the 446 series. In the Wednesday nighters mixed, some 200 games from Ben Miller, 204, Mark Brown, 212, and Sam Walker, 219. On the women's side, uh, Terry Gellarmino with a 218 game. In the Wednesday night high priority league, Lucas K had a 267 game, which was the high for all leagues with a 648 series. Jake M had a 245 game with a 659 series. Mike Finnegan had a 239 game. And Barrett Wagner had a 691 series. In the Thursday Night Sportsman's League, Jason Griffiths with the 224, Tom Brewer with the 231, Mike Castina, Castanaya, sorry Mike, 622 series, and they were led by Phil Freewald, who had a 267 game on his way to a 631 series. In the Thursday Night Teachers League, Brett Wallet had a 256 game with a 702 series, which that was a high series for all the leagues that week. Fred Nixon had a 232 game with a 636 series. Jason Dice had a 244 game, and Jack W had a 634 series. In the Friday Night Men's League, some nice shooting. Scott Beamer with a 246 game, and he had a high series with a 679 scratch series. Other high scores are Brian Kessler with a 255 game, Bob Brown with a 257 game, Barrett uh, continued his hop over with a 644, and Larry Beamer Jr. with a 649 series. And the Friday night at Order Road League on the men's side, Bob Antisberger had a 256 game with a 597 series, 
Luke K had a 227 game and Michael McLean had a 214 game. And for the women's side, Kelly K had a 201 game for the 455 series. In the Friday night sandbackers, Becky Freeman with a 156 game led all bowlers along with her 438 series. And Paul Hopper led all mid bowlers with a 214 game on his way to a 602 series. And in the Saturday morning youth league for the boys side, Zach Grove had a 199 game with a 559 series. And for the girls side, Olivia G had a 160 game for the 395 series. For all our youth bowlers out there, um, we are starting a, a youth bowlers club for all school aged kids. It's gonna be after school on Fridays from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., lanes permitting, of course. Um, but we're gonna be doing $2 jeans and, and $2 shoes during that time to help encourage the youth to come out and, and, and bowl. It's great exercise, um, good uh, hand-eye coordination, other uh, skills, there's lots of uh, scholarships and, and things like that available. Um, we'll be doing uh, lots of different leagues during the summer. This will be announced shortly. 